today I'm going to show you how to get this grungy purple makeup look. So I did a poll on my Instagram because I wasn't quite sure what kind of makeup look to film. I gave you a choice of green or purple. You guys picked purple, light or dark. You guys picked dark and arty or glam and you guys picked glam. So this is a look that I came up with. So if you want to see how I got this look, then just keep on watching. Okay, so I've already done the other eye and my eyebrows. Now I'm just going to be taking some concealer and priming the eyelid. Also not going to be setting the eye base so that the eyeshadows we put on top are as pigmented as possible. I'm going to be taking this really dark purple colour on this blending brush. So I'm going to place this dark purple shade on the outer V in patting motions. I'm also going to be taking this into the crease with whatever's left on the brush. I'm going to go back in with the purple and deepen the outer V. Again, go slightly into the crease. With a clean, fluffy brush like this, I'm just going to gently blend out the edges of the dark purple. not to go right up to the brow bone here. After blending that I'm gonna go and intensify the dark purple once again. I'm gonna take the blending brush and blend it, the edge. Now I'm gonna be taking this NYX purple eyeshadow on that same blending brush. I'm going to use this to blend out the edges of the darker purple using a very light hand. Again, I'm going to take the dark purple and use the same brush to blend rather than switching back to the other blending brush. I'm just going to take the blending brush without anything and go right on the edge. I'm going to be taking this flat brush here and some concealer. Now with this concealer, concealer we are just going to cut the crease. The best way to do this is to use just little padding motions to apply the product. Then I'm going to take all the concealer off the flat brush and I'm just going to blend the edge of the concealer. I'm taking this colour here, a nice flat brush like this. I'm going to be placing this on the inner half of the cut crease. Taking this in the inner tear duct area. You can see I've missed this spot here of the other matte purple so I'm just going to take whatever's left on the brush and just sort of blend it there. Now I'm going to be taking this bluey purple on 
the flat brush and I'm going to be placing this on the concealer where we haven't put anything yet. Blending that with the other colour a little bit. I'm going to be taking that dark purple colour again and patting it on the outer V and also slightly blending it. I'm going to take this other blending brush again and blend it to make sure it's all seamless. Now I'm going to be taking this pencil brush and this matte black here and I'm going to be basically drawing a line on top of the cut crease or where the cut crease line is. And connecting that with the outer V. You also don't want to go too far into the inner corner to make it too dark. Then I'm going to be taking this brush here with a little bit of the matte purple and I'm just going to be blending that black and I'm also going to take that same brush and the matte black and I'm going to actually take the matte black on the outer V And I'm going to be taking the this blending brush and be blending that a little bit. Then I'm going to take this uh, the other blending brush and that this NYX purple again. And then I'm going to add this onto the edges because I feel like we lost a bit of that colour. Then I'm going to take this pencil brush again, go back in with the Mac matte black and really define a nice line. Then I'm only going to use the same brush and slightly blend at the top of it. This way we have the most contrast between the crease shade and the lid shade. Now I'm going to be taking a different pencil brush. And I'm going to be taking this white shimmery shade right here and I'm going to put this on the inner corner in patting motions to get the most pigmentation and then I'm just going to blend some of it onto the cut crease. This adds more dimension. Go back in and really intensify the inner corner just because I blended it away a bit too much. Taking this black eyeliner, putting this on my tight line and waterline. And then I'm also going to be putting this on the lower lash line. Now I'm going to be taking the pencil brush and the matte black, putting that on top of the eyeliner. Now I'm going to be taking a gel eyeliner on a nice thin eyeliner brush going to be going thick, I mean thin to thick. Then on the eyeliner I also went over with this pencil brush and a bit of black eyeshadow. Now the last thing I did was add some mascara and eyelashes. I'm going to take my eyeliner again and I'm going to hide the lash glue. And the last step for the eyes was taking that same inner corner highlight and highlighting 
the brow bone with it. So I'm going to now just apply some foundation to my face. Now I'm going to be taking some cream contour, which is actually the lipstick I'm going to be using. I'm now just going to be applying some concealer under my eyes. Put some on my nose because that's where my makeup comes off first. Above my lip to get rid of that shadow and a bit on the forehead because it gets red mark dots there and some on the chin because there's some everywhere else and uh, I'm just going to use my sponge to blend this in I feel like a full on witch right now okay I'm now going to set my face. I'm going to start under my eyes with a small brush like this. The rain's really getting heavy. Now I'm going to take this big powder brush and lightly powder the rest of my face. So help all the makeup last longer, even though I'm going to bed after this. Taking this angled brush here and some bronzer, bronzing on the temples, forehead, and cheeks. This just adds some colour and warms up your face. Just little dabbing motions because you don't want to move the product underneath. Also going to take the bronzer down my neck. Usually don't do this, but because the purple does come slightly down my nose, I'm going to be contouring my nose just with a grey toned contour colour powder. you want your nose to look and because my nose is already round I'm gonna make it elongate it to make it less round so I'm not gonna go underneath I'm just gonna do the two stripes down the nose this one's makeup in forever and I love it the two lines you then just gonna to want to blend it with the same brush blush to add some life to my face. This onto the apples of my cheeks, which is here, and then upwards. Um, the camera just died, so I'm not quite sure where I was up to, because I had to wait for it to charge for like a couple hours and I had dinner and everything. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you did subscribe and go check out the photos of this makeup that i'm gonna up upload no post on my instagram and i'll see you guys next time